Hey, all right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video on the Poor Man's Gold channel. And um, I got a, a letter in the mail um, from my good buddy Howard over at Howard's Coin Finds. Um, he's, he's out in Australia, um, and he is uh, a really cool dude, man. I, I, I got to say, Howard is a cool guy, and he really knows his stuff. He's He's um like a, a a coin roll hunter. He hunts coins um for the most part, from what I've seen. Um, and if you're a coin roll hunter, uh, you gotta go check out Howard's coin finds. Uh, link in the description. But the bottom line is, um, he hunts you know uh, you know obviously Australian coins, but he is super super knowledgeable on the coins he hunts. Um, you know, he knows all about them. You know, the cuds, the errors, the varieties, you know, uh, just, just super knowledgeable guy on on the coins he hunts. And uh, I, I got to give him props on that. So the bottom line is uh, I, I had sent him out a uh, an envelope, you know, with a channel sticker and, a, you know, just a small gift. And um, we've become pretty good YouTube friends here uh, over the last few months. And... Um, Howard's a really cool dude, so like I said, link to Howard's coin finds in this in the description. Um, if you're a coin roll hunter, go check him out because uh, I got to say that every time I watch his videos, um, I'm definitely learning something about something. You know what I mean? So, anyway, like I said, I had sent him out some uh, channel, you know, a couple of channel stickers, I think, and just a couple of small, you know, gift coins. And um, now I got something back in return from Howard here. That's it's gonna be awesome. Um, came from Australia, airmail. Um, these nice Australian stamps here cost them uh, three dollars and seventy eight cents to mail this, but uh, very cool, very cool um, stamps there. And you do have Howard's address. This is PO box uh, in Victoria, Australia. Um, Howard's coin finds, um, feel free to send him anything. Actually, he has a gold giveaway going on right now. He's giving away some gold. He sort of has a, his own, like, sort of book of fame type thing going, you know what I mean? Like a, a you know, a, a book where he's, you know, um, saving the coins he receives in the mail, you know, through mail calls. And when that book gets filled up, he's going to be giving away, um, a very cool piece of gold, so... Go check them out. Anyway, so let's open up this uh, letter because I've been sitting on this for a couple of days now, and I'm and I'm uh, I'm really excited to see what's inside it. So we'll open it up. It seems very full, so I don't want to damage anything here. So we'll get that opened up. And take a look at what's inside. Like I said, Howard is a super cool dude. Lots of shorts, lots of, uh, you know, other stuff. You know, uh, like I said, he's just super knowledgeable on the <laughs> Franklin uh, Bugs Bunny 1955. Hey, and it's a, it's a picture of Bugs Bunny on, it looks like a... A cereal carton here. That's that's fantastic. Crispy, crunchy, popping, puffed something. Um, but it is a picture of Bugs Bunny. And I think Howard knew I was looking for a Bugs Bunny variant for the uh for the Franklin album. So let me carefully get this opened up here. This is funny and hilarious. Just give me one second. Let me let me carefully get this open. I don't want to I don't know what's in here and I don't want to damage anything. Okay. And we got looks like a letter with some currency in it. Let me just uh let me just take a quick look at this letter here. Okay. 
Um, we got a uh, poor man's gold. Due to my stickers not being ready yet. Yeah, I, I he sent this thing out probably uh, two weeks before he got his stickers in. So, uh, Jesus. But anyway, I sent these couple of coins ahead. I'll send some stickers shortly. Thank you for your letter. Your channel sticker is brilliant, and the two coins are great. Cheers. The reason for the coppers is you sent the 1936 uh, Weedy. So to compare coin sizes... He sent his 1936 penny and marching, looks like marching, half penny, uh, coin sizes, uh, the one cent 1990, the two cent 89. Hey, they have a two cent in 1989. Uh, now, something are a 1976 something, they are just to show when our coins finally became a sensible size. The 1959 Florin is 50% silver. The 66, 50%, uh, 50 cent piece is 80% silver. Um, no flips wanted you to feel them. Ah, see, put no, no flips. He wanted me to feel them in hand. That's awesome. And, uh, many thanks from Howard. I know you want a 1955 Bugs Bunny found something too for you. Ha ha, ha ha ha, <laughs> Howard's coin finds some. I can't make heads or tails, really. Hey, that's a coin joke. Heads or, I can't make heads or tails of this letter or parts of it anyway. So, uh, Howard, awesome letter, funny, great letter. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And there was a little sticky note here. Uh, 59 florin uh, with some uh, weights and measures here for the uh, 66 and the 59. And um, we'll get to all that. And he did send some currency here. It says last something, something, 1982, $1 note. Uh, DPS was the last prefix used. 1982 was something, 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 note coins from 1984. Only had two, so something, something. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll decipher this later. Let's just move on with the mail call. This is pretty cool. We'll take a look at these. Let's see, I don't want to. I don't know if you meant for me to not take this out of here, Howard. But uh, we'll take a look at this note. Very good looking note. Looks like a one, one Australian dollar. It's pretty busy on there. And uh, it's looking good. This is a, a great... Thing the, the DNR that signifies the last year, I believe, of this uh, one dollar being made, and this is very cool. And uh, I look forward to doing a little more research on that. And we got something he taped his coins with a gigantic sticker right to this cardboard. but not right to the coins. So awesome. Okay. It looks like a, like a hell of an array of coins here. This is uh, totally awesome. Give me one second. I'm going to get these coins out of this, uh, uh, stuff here and we'll come back and we'll take a, a better look at the coins. And just to take a look at this, uh, sticker that he had all the coins stuck to, it, uh, this was probably an afterthought here. Sticker cover. This was a, a stupid idea. <laughs> that's funny. So, uh, Howard, that's, uh, it's funny and it's a great afterthought on this sticky thing, but at least you had the, uh, you know, common sense, uh, courtesy 
to not stick the coins directly to the tape because, you know, that irritates me. So uh, we'll put that on the side there. And let's take a better look at these coins. Okay, and we're back. We got the coins out of the, uh, out of the, off the card. And, um, these are some pretty cool looking coins here. I gotta say, um, I guess we can start with the one penny. This is the 1936 Commonwealth of Australia, George V, one penny. This is just a cursory glance on this coin. We got the 36 Commonwealth of uh, Australia, one penny. Um, I believe these were minted uh, 1911 to 1936, just on a guess. Um, the obverse is a crowned bust of George V uh, with a reverse. Um, I'm going to guess the reverse is just the, the value and the year and the, uh, the Commonwealth of Australia. Um, another guess will be the plain edge. This is a bronze coin. I'm guessing it's a bronze coin um, with a weight of 9.4 grams, a diameter of 30.8 uh, millimeters. And, uh, yeah, and the uh, the motto on there is, you know, George V.D. G. Brit Om Rex F.D. End Imp. I don't know what the hell that means offhand, but um, that's the motto on the coin here. Super cool. One penny uh bronze coin from 1936 totally awesome so we'll uh, put this on the side and we'll get to the next one now the next one i believe uh to go with the one penny will be the 1936 um commonwealth of australia one half penny correct one half penny uh this equals, uh, just on a guess, I'm going to say this is uh, equals 1 24th of a shilling or 1 480th of a pound. Um, the reverse here uh, has the de denomination within a circle, the year and the letter in uh, Commonwealth of Australia, which is funny because I'm in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. This is a 1936 one half penny with the uh, obverse of a crowned bust of George V, with the uh, the motto around. Um, it's a bronze coin, 5.6 grams, and 25.5 millimeters in diameter. And this is just a guess. Uh, smooth edge here. And to go, so this is a, a, a great pairing here, because you have the, 1936 one penny and the 1936 half penny totally awesome i think they're uh yep so that's super cool this is like a set the 1936 one penny and half penny that's ultra cool and i had sent uh howard a a 1936 you know wheat scent just randomly, you know what I mean? It was just a random pick out of the bag. Um, and uh, dang it, he uh, he came right back with the 1936 Australian pennies. That's totally awesome. The penny, the one penny and the half penny. So I guess uh, we can hit the, let's grab the 50 cent piece. This is a uh, 1966 Australian. This is the uh, Elizabeth II 50 cent piece. On the obverse, uh, we got the second portrait of Queen Elizabeth II wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. Very cool. And on the reverse, we have the Australian coat of arms with large numerical denomination down at the bottom there. Um, this was a standard circulation coin uh, made of the composition of 80% silver, 20% copper. Um, it's a weight of, uh, total weight of 13.28 grams on this thing. 
a diameter of 31.5 millimeters. We got a reeded edge. And uh, the cool thing about this coin is that it was introduced at the changeover to decimal currency. And this is the only circulating round 50 cent piece, uh, which is made of 80% uh, silver, 20% copper. Um, so it wasn't long before the silver content in this coin was, was, was way more than the 50 cent face value. Um, and, and they started being hoarded by the people of Australia. Uh, these coins were replaced in 1969 uh, with a 12-sided copper nickel um, 50 cent piece. So, um, super cool. This was the only round 50 cent piece. And they started being hoarding. Uh, they started being hoarded when silver, you know, uh, when the silver content was, was more than the face value. So, um, totally cool on this. This is a very awesome, awesome coin here, uh. Howard, I really appreciate this. Uh, the reverse here is the um, the Australian coat of arms, um, and it's super cool. And uh, yeah, digging it. Thank you very much, Howard. This is an awesome, awesome piece. So we'll put that on the side. And I guess we can move over to the smaller cents here. This is these are both nineteen seventy six here. This is the one cent piece. And the two cent piece, both 1976, and we'll uh, we'll we'll get to these. So we'll start with the one penny, the one cent. Um, on the obverse here of this one cent, we have the uh, the Queen, you know, portrait of uh, Queen Elizabeth II. On the reverse, we have the uh, the number one there. Um, and a feather-tailed glider, which really resembles a friggin' rat to me. So, uh, you can see the whiskers down there on the bottom right, and the claws there on the middle left. Uh, it's not really coming in that great. But you can definitely see, it looks like a goddamn rat there, so... Um, but it is a feather-tailed uh, glider. So that's super cool. The one cent, uh, 1976. Now, we did mention in the letter that 1976 is when um, they started uh, becoming like a sensible size for the one cent piece um, as opposed to the other one cent piece. So that's totally cool. So uh, we got the little, you know, the the... You know, the, the size comparison there of the one cent between, you know, 1936 and 1976. So that's totally cool. And we can move on to the two cent piece here now. The 1976 two cent piece, um, which also has the uh, the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. This is the second portrait. Um, very cool. And the reverse... We have the uh, the two there, um, and a frill-necked lizard. Um, this is a frill-necked lizard on the back of this thing, also known as the frilled dragon, uh, endemic to Australia and South New Guinea. Um, this coin is very, very cool looking. You got a smooth edge on this thing. Uh, it's made of bronze. It's a bronze coin. Uh, 5.18 grams and a diameter of 21.59 millimeters. And these are all guesses, just, you know, off-the-cuff guesses. I didn't uh, research these coins for 45 minutes. <laughs> so next we got, last but not least here, last on the list here, we have a super cool, um, this is a 1959 Australia florin um, with a face value of two shillings. Um, now, the obverse is the first portrait, the young bust of Queen Elizabeth II. Um, that also, the motto uh, around there says Elizabeth II, 
uh, Del Gradia Regina F.D., which translated is Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, defender of the faith. So that's that's pretty 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 cool there. So um, on the reverse of this, we have the date 1959 Australia, uh, Florin, and um, I don't know if this is the emu egg variety. Uh, Howard, you would be the expert on the emu egg variety, where uh, between the emu's legs there looks to be uh, an egg. I wasn't seeing it. Um, but, uh, you know, you're the expert, Howard. Let me know if this is the emu egg variety. Um, might not be. It might not be. So, on the reverse here, we got the uh, the arms of the Commonwealth of Australia. A shield divided into six parts and supported by a kangaroo and an emu. Um, above the shield is a crown. And this is a florin coin or two shillings, and this is an, an awesome, awesome piece here. This is 50% uh, silver, 11.310 um, grams, 28.5 millimeters, with a reeded edge, and um, I'm digging this coin, man. This is a fantastic coin. Actually, all these coins um, are super, super cool. Howard, I really, really appreciate these coins. Um, you did a, a, you know, a, a great job um, picking out the coins you were going to send. I'm sure thought went into these, um, unlike my coins that I sent to you. But uh, the bottom line here is um, these six coins are totally awesome. They're going to be going into the Book of Fame. So let me get them carded up and uh, we'll get them into the Book of Fame here. And I'll, I'll end this video because I know it's running a little long here. But I um, uh, just want to shout out... Um, Howard again, Howard, uh, Howard's coin finds, if you're not familiar, go check him out, link in the description, um, you know, super knowledgeable guy on coin roll hunting, they call it, they call it coin noodling over there, but it's the same thing, uh, noodling, hunting, whatever, um, go check Howard out, and, uh, give him a sub, let him know I sent you, so, let's, uh, let me get these, let me get these coins, card it up, and we'll get them into the Book of Fame. And I'm definitely calling it the Book of Fame in this instance. Hey, all right, guys, and we're back. I have all six coins carded up. I have the $1 note here, the Australian note, super cool. And I have the Book of Fame. This is definitely a Book of Fame moment, um, which the, the Book of Fame is doing totally awesome, uh, just fantastic man you you guys you guys are the best so um let's get these coins into the book of uh, fame and um yeah well and we'll wrap it up i'll let you guys move on with your lives so we got the uh the 1936 one penny uh going into the book of fame where it will reside forever and uh we got another another page down so we'll go with the 1976, uh, one cent, the bronze one cent here, going in to the Book of Fame. Awesome. And uh, I guess we can, uh, let's get the, uh, the 1976 uh, two cent piece right next to it up here. So they can live in harmony, the one cent and the two cent. And we'll get the 1936 half cent in there, the half penny. This thing is super cool. We'll get that into the Book of Fame. And we got the 1966 50 cent piece, 80% silver. Uh, great, great looking piece. This, this is really an awesome piece here. So I'm um, super glad to uh, be able to add this to the book. And we'll get that right into its spot there. And we got the last but not least here, the 1959 Florin 50% silver. Um, Howard's coin finds. Totally awesome. This is Howard. This uh, These coins are uh, above and beyond, my friend. Above and beyond. I really appreciate it. They're awesome, awesome pieces um, that I will treasure along with all the rest of the 
coins in this book. And the note, I'm going to have to get some kind of protective cover for the note. I'm, I might be able to um, reuse this uh, plastic you sent it in, but I'll, I'll take care of this and um, I'll get it somewhere. So uh, more ads to the Book of Fame. Um, the, the, the book is doing great. Uh, I'm going to say 30-something coins in there. Maybe 36 coins. I'm not positive, but um, either way, it's it's doing fantastic. And uh, thank you very much to everybody who sent anything for the Book of Fame. And uh, I guess we can call it a wrap on this video. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Keep out of trouble. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. And make sure to go over to Howard's Coin Finds. Link in the description. Uh, watch a couple of his videos. He's a super cool guy. And, um, you know... Sub if you want, and if you do, let them know I send you. So uh, we'll call that that, and uh, yeah, we'll call that that.